Okay, so right here we're dealing with um, a pair of 13s. We got the outsole and you're gonna run into a little bit of a problem here when you're re-gluing because you have a lot of design right here. So we gotta get the, what we're trying to do here is get this imprint right here onto here. So how you do that is you get yourself a piece of chalk and you're just gonna color that area, this whole area right here. So it'll end up looking something like that right there. And you can blow some of it off. You don't want it to be too much because you're gonna be putting your glue up there. And then you're gonna put that, place that on and you're gonna press it down firmly and get that print. Same, you could take it off if you press down firmly. It should end up looking something like that. So you transfer in the print from there to there. And now you'll be able to get your glue bottle. I'm gonna have to open this one up and cut the top to fit. You'll be able to follow your line and put your glue on properly without wasting it. So for here, now you're gonna get your detail bottle and I'm just gonna just snip off the top right here. You'll see like a little notch right there. You can follow that if you want to. It's like right here. I don't know if you can see that. Right there's a little notch. So you can cut right there. And now you'll be able to start um, gluing. So as of right here, and this piece has a little piece of carbon fiber on it too as well. So you'll have to glue that down first, obviously. But as far as the chalk goes, the chalk will disappear with the liquid as you put it up there. And once we spread this around and we're following our line, you'll see some of it start to vanish. So you don't have to worry too much about the chalk. Then from right here, usually I get my triangular um, knife. So from right here, I just get my triangular knife and I kind of spread it around going in like circular motions. Let me hold that carbon fiber in place. And I spread that glue around. You'll see it like disappear. And you want to make it flat and thin. That's the goal. So you just go in small circular motions and you'll see it vanish. And now you got your glue up there precisely and even. And then once you put your glue up here, you can you know brush this off if you want to. If you don't want to have the chalk up there, just put your glue up there. And then once you put it up and you put it on top, you'll see the glue will line up and you won't have like those um, glue over like, what they over glue and residue. For the inside, we're gonna do the same thing. Put your glue there, then right there, same thing. Get your long spatula and spread that glue around even. Same. Now you're gonna do your edges. I'm gonna show you how sticky this is. It, it looks dry, but when you stick it on, 
you press it on, it sticks. So this is about the time you know you're ready to start connecting, putting your sneaker together. And it's like this. So on the back, it'll be the same thing. Put that. It'll be dry to the touch. And you'll just put it on. No heat required. Make sure you line it up nice. Okay. Give it a good, strong press. Make sure there's no, you know, no, not a lot of glue on your hands either because it'll stick to your hands. As you can see there, it's stuck on there. And then you just finish pressing the rest of it together. Just like so. Firm, hard, like you really got to press. Don't be shy. I'm trying to squeeze the air out. Okay, this piece, if you put the glue on, should have been here. Glue on that piece. Look, that's going to go up here somewhere, I believe, like this. Make sure that's correct. That to stick. All right. So for right here, I just used the gold glue to get inside this tight area right here. I put one bead on the um, midsole, one on the upper. Then I spread the glue with my plastic spatula inside that area. And then I took some toothpicks and I put them in there to allow this to air dry. And that's been sitting there for at least 45 minutes to an hour. So now we're gonna take out the toothpicks. Take that out. Take that out. And now we're just gonna press it together to apply. So now I'm just gonna press together very firmly you don't want to be um, soft here. You really want to press hard and lock it down. All right. Now we got that clamped on. All right. So for this right here, we got this detachment we gotta fix. And a problem some people have is they apply too much glue and then we get over glue. So to make sure that doesn't happen, just get yourself a piece of chalk and sand it down. And then you're gonna make a imprint here on that missile on the inside, just like that. And you wanna press that together Get your get it fitted to where you want to fit it at. And then once you take it off, you'll see that's where you want to apply your glue. Right there. So we'll get our glue bottle. Put some glue in the bottom of that well. Just like that. I hope you can see it. You don't have to go all the way because we have two spatulas here that can spread the glue. Now I'm gonna dab it down to spread it and then bring it up and then go right on that line. And as I see the chalk disappear, I know that I have it in the correct place to that line. see I can get all the way to the edge and I can feel the glue being spread everywhere flip this around put some on the outsole I can feel it on the outsole as well you put a small dab for the outsole just so it's even same thing 
press it down get down as far as you can now i'm going to bring it up along the outsole just like that nice even light coats i'm gonna get my toothpicks i'm gonna keep that open just like that too i put my toothpicks like that and now we're gonna wait 45 minutes to an hour before we press it together So this has been drying for almost an hour. So we're gonna take out the toothpicks and then press this together. to do here is find my line and get that on press up from the, the outsole and come up over that line pressing from the inside. Now I'm gonna put my hand down. Now I'm gonna put my hand down and I'm gonna kind of like walk it and roll as I'm going forward. Like that, like I'm walking it forward. Applying pressure. See I'm inching closer and closer. Alright, in this video, I'm going to be talking about re-glues and my glue choices, as you can see here. We can start off with the clear glue. Um, the reason why I would use clear glue is for, like, for example, for soles. Okay, like clear soles. You don't want to use the yellow glue because you don't want that to show up underneath the sole. So instead of using the gold glue, you would use clear glue, okay? Also, another thing about this glue, it can be reheated. Um, the dry time on it is about seven to 10 minutes. So it's a quick drying glue. But like I said, it can be reheated if you miss the dry time um, window. The gold glue on the other hand has a 45 minute to a one hour dry time. You would just apply your glue to the area, use one of your knives, whatever to get in there. And then you will wait for 45 minutes to an hour, uh, no heat required, and you would just snap your sneaker together and it will stick. I wanna talk about the shelf life of the glues. Um, the gold glue will dry out faster than the clear glue, clear glue will. This is gonna last a lot longer than this one, but there is a glue thinner that comes with the packages, um, depending on which re-glue kit you get that can um, counter that. So if this glue, if you see your glue get thick, which this one isn't, this is perfect. You can see it's like, it's very runny and syrupy the way it's supposed to be. But if you see it get thick, you can just pour glue thinner in there and thin your glue right back out and you're ready for action. Let's talk about these little bottles here, the little detail bottles. These bottles can fit and helping your with your re-glue in just about any tight place there's not going to be many areas you're not going to be able to reach with these bottles you simply take your top off it'll come with a orange needle cap and you will prick the top to put a hole inside of the nozzle here and then you'll be able to apply glue into tight areas like this here you just simply stick your nozzle in there and apply your glue if it's very tight you simply just take your needle, apply it to the top. You'll cut this to size so that it'll be compatible. And then you'll be able to fit it into like small areas like you just seen me do there with the boot or tight areas like this here where you can't, you can't reach in here with a brush, okay? You can't get in there. So 
you would just get your bottle, um, put the nozzle inside, apply your glue, and then I would get one of the plastic knives and I would just rub that glue inside just like so and spread it evenly. One thing I like about the, the plastic knives is definitely the reach. I, it's not many areas that you're not gonna be able to reach into. You get in the bottom here, like say for these fours, it's a tight area like this. You would just apply your glue in there, then you'll get your knife and you'll be able to spread your glue inside an area like this fairly easily. Um, another thing with it is the cleanup. The cleanup is really easy. Since, you know, they're plastic, you would just get your glue eraser. And once your glue dries up, you just rub it off. Just like so. Whatever dries up on there, you just get the eraser and rub that right off. And these clean up really easy, all of them. With the brush, you know, you're going to have to keep it soaked in some solution or maybe use some acetone or thinner if you're going to be using the brush. The glue erasers are also good for cleaning up glue residue on the sneaker itself. So you just get yourself a glue eraser and you want to go pretty lightly and just go back and forth until that residue is gone. Just a small one. See that there? And you get that right off of there. The kit also comes with sticks. You can use these to clean up minor glue as well along the edges, just like so. Um, you can also use it if you have to open up a tight area, let's say like right here, you would just put it in and kind of use leverage to open up an area that you need to reach or get into. Then you would apply your glue, just like so. Get your detail bottle or a large bottle, apply glue to the interior. Then you would get your stick and you would just apply your glue like so. Making it very easy to reach inside those hard to reach areas. You just let that sit like that, allowing air to flow to it. And depending on which glue you use, you allow the proper dry time. Then simply take out your stick, press together firmly, and you'll be done with your re-glue. About the pros and cons about the clear glue versus the gold glue. Um, when I'm doing re-glues, I found that if I'm doing like small spots and there's a lot of them, I would use the gold glue because I can just sit it and forget it. Like if it's a lot of spots, you know, no heat required. I've, I've even waited up to two hours and came back and I was still able to just start pressing the sneaker together in all areas, like no matter where I put the glue. With the clear glue, it's a seven to 10 minute um, dry time window. So as you're going in those little spots, if you miss that window, then you're gonna have to heat in that area to make the connection. Uh, another con with the clear glue is midsoles like this, like on the 11s, for example, okay? The 11s, if you use heat on this midsole for too long, you can warp it like fairly quickly. So that's a con about using heat when you're doing re-glues. Also that happens on the 10s and um, the 13s as well. You can, if you're using heat for too long, you can you can do some real damage. By using the gold glue, um, it takes a little longer to dry, but you're not at risk of using heat and warping the sole. So the gold glue is perfect if you, you're just starting re-glues or you, you're busy doing other things and you just need that extra time, you can just put your glue in. Like I said, set it and forget it. One hour, two hours, come back, press your sneaker together and it's done. With the clear glue, it's working quicker and you have to meet that dry time. So I think that's all about the pros and cons between the glues. The kits do come in a variety of sizes. I wanna talk about the re-glue kit a little bit. It's a lot of varieties, a lot of different bottles and sizes and um, different things that come with the kit. So you can go check that out on eBay or Footprints on Payhip. Uh, you can watch videos of me using the re-glue kit on Facebook, Instagram, 
and the many other places on social media as well. All right. So right here, we got a little bit of new buck damage. So we're just gonna apply some new buck powder and sealer right here. We're gonna put a drop to just like that. Let that absorb in that area, just like that. Then you're gonna get your new buck powder Put that on, sift it, and try to knock that some of that back in there. Just like so, blow some off. Got that there. Then I'm just gonna take the back of here of the tweezers, mat that down. Clean out that area. Like so. And then apply a final coat. Just let that absorb. Don't have to be a lot. Just touch it. And then I'm going to let that dry for at least an hour, hour and a half. On the other side, I kind of started to do it already. And I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sanding it down. You can see some right here. See something right here and here. So sometimes it's a little cruddy. If you the way you depends on how you put it on, you could just get yourself a piece of 400 grit and sand it down smooth. And you'll start it'll start feeling like soft. It'll start becoming the texture that you want it to be. And like more of that suede new buck type texture. You see, we got one right here. We still got to do. Also, I get my block from the patent leather hand paint kit, and then I just get in the crease, <clears throat> just like that. And if I want to blend it, maybe I'll airbrush it lightly with some black. So right here, we're going to do the same thing, just like that, light, don't have to be heavy. Make sure, too, if you can get those hairs down, if you can sand them down, do that. that. Just like that. Get your powder. Just dust it. Try to get something back in there if you can. Just blow it. And then we're going to mat it down. Make sure it's in there. Just get your sealer again and lightly let it absorb by itself, just like that. You don't have to do you don't have to do a lot, just like that. And that's all you need. Make sure this part is flat because these are like fibers in here, and then lay that down flat before you apply it. Then we're gonna apply the sealer up there to those areas. You wanna press that in so that that absorbs. It's got me a little card here. Let that absorb in there. See? Then I'm gonna get like a screen. I'm gonna take the, the powder and put that on top. So if that's a lot. Yep. Okay. So we're just gonna just sand that area down. This is where we apply this is where we apply too much. And now we're gonna have to redo it or I can go over it with a little bit of spray of black. Got that there. I'm gonna do a little small circular motion. Just like so. You can see that starting to get smooth.
if you would like to learn more about suede and nubuck repair, go check out my video, How to Repair Air Jordan Bread Force Full Restoration. In this video, we'll be doing a full restoration from start to finish. We'll be prepping the midsole, doing a full midsole repaint, and repairing the uppers using nubuck powder and sealer. Once again, my name is Footprint, and I'd like to thank you for watching. In this video, we'll be repairing the suede damage on a pair of Travis Scott 4s using some neutral suede and nubuck renewal powder and sealer. We'll be going through this process step by step, and I'll be showing you some different ways to apply the powder and sealer along with some do's and don'ts. My name is Footprints. Now let's get into this tutorial. All right, so right here, I'm gonna show you how to apply the neutral powder. Um, you wanna prep your surface so that it's not too smooth because then the powder and sealer, it, you may have a little trouble with it sticking. Please enjoy these clips of me re some Travis Scott 4s. Start taping up these uh, Travis Scott 4s. I'm gonna be doing a slight re-dye, repaint. I'm not gonna let that spray go because if I let it go, I might get some splatter. We'll just do this to, um, I like the color. Now that looks like that was just what we need. 